Simple truth. Flowing energy organizes matter. For living creatures, that means food organizes matter. It does so by balancing opposing forces. Carbohydrate metabolism fuels differentiated functions, doing things. But when you do things like building a city or building a person, building a cell, it requires energy. And depending on the source of that energy, uh, the free radicals that are naturally produced by the efficient means of producing energy, our electron transport system powered by carbohydrates, generates too many free radicals. That turns on aerobic glycolysis and other means of generating energy safely but inefficiently. If all of that fails, then fat burning gets turned on, which is recycling of damaged pieces. The cell basically quarantines itself and fixes itself, just the same way as our society is doing now with the quarantine. So now let's look at the practical aspects of this. When a virus infects a cell, it has to produce more nucleic acid DNA and or RNA. It has to produce proteins and it has to regulate lipid metabolism. So all of these things come together in a synthetic mechanism that generates more and more free radicals until finally the system has to reorganize and turn on fat burning. And that can then be involved in the maturation and release of the virus. So chloroquine inhibits autophagy or fat burning and therefore inhibits the later phases of the cycle of energy production. Whereas turning on fat burning, like with CBD and vitamin D and a whole host of things, THC and polyunsaturated fatty acids and resveratrol and on and on and on, things that are good for us tend to be things that turn on fat burning because we have a fundamental imbalance because we consume too many carbohydrates, generate too many free radicals that then cause cancer, and all age-related illnesses. So it's time to get smart. It's not too hard. Recycle more in your body with fat burning. Recycle more in your society. Intelligence will lead us into the future. Be a flip, not a blip.